Welcome to SEO Cheat Guides. I have today a author of a book that I'm a big fan of. Uh, he put together the book, Authority Content. Some of you may know him as the founder. Oh, there you go. Founder and CEO of Melbourne SEO Services. Uh, none other than Dave Jennings. Thank you so much for joining us today on SEO Cheat Guides. Really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, pleasure. I appreciate the invite and excited to share. Awesome. Perfect. So I'll start it off with uh, how you generally started off. So tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your background. Yeah. So we run a, a digital agency, as you mentioned, Melbourne SEO Services based here in Melbourne. Uh, initially, we kind of really targeted the geographic area and went after the name to get a good foothold. And then beyond that, we kind of expanded around the world and started we just had the anniversary i could tell because it popped up in my linkedin um, a nine-year anniversary wow. so uh, we've been doing it for for some time now started off very um traditional seo and it actually started because uh, a, a friend and i we created a home study course on how to use uh, a particular stock market education package and then um, there were some changes here in the Australian financial law that required a certain amount of licensing to give that type of advice. Uh, so he ended up heading in one direction and I headed in the other because I'd built up a good sized marketing team for ourselves, marketing ourselves online, ma mainly through SEO. But um, we started offering that to local businesses and we're getting really great results because the stock market industry is very competitive online. So we were finding the strategies that we developed there were working incredibly well for local business. And then we've just stuck with it through all of the different changes, the ups and the downs. You know, we, I used to feel like we were just uh, magic men when it came to uh, marketing. You'd, you'd give me a dollar and I'd turn it into two. Um, and then the game just got uh, more complex, more difficult, more moving parts. Um, but we've been fortunate to be able to stay with those trends, spot them early enough that we could stay in front of those waves and weren't too heavily affected as, as some of these rollouts happened. So we've built up a, a really good reputation, particularly down here in Australia for what we do, having been around for so long. Um, and, and yeah, just now we're really focusing on developing uh, methods and processes that stand the test of time that become uh, somewhat Google proof uh, because you're kind of aligning your objectives and Google's objectives to to give the clients and the prospects um, the best results you know the answer to their question in the, in the least number of clicks so by doing that we're kind of now alongside of Google and, and tend to uh, avoid some of those uh, animal updates sure so when you when you first got started in the business, I mean, nine years ago is a long time. So one of the things that a lot of our audience struggle with is obviously lead generation. How do you find those first few clients, especially as you started your agency? What was useful for you back then? And uh, what were some of your strategies, I guess, back then that may still be applicable today? Yeah. So the first few things I always do whenever I'm starting a business is I think about uh, how can I get one or two case studies or examples of me applying the result or applying the product or service that we're selling and getting a great result. Um, also, we need to be the best example of what it is that we sell as well. So started it off first, uh, applied all the methods to our own business to get visibility uh, online, making sure our website's appearing. That's partly why we went after Melbourne SEO services so we could geographically target and get some, some quick wins there. Um, and, and then once we, we got the first couple, a, a bit through networking actually, the, I had a few referrals and people were familiar with, with what I was doing. Uh, and I said, look, I'm just getting started out. I'm happy to um, you know, do this pretty much at cost, as long as you're happy for me to document the process um, and have you as a, a case study and get you a great result on the other end. So I've always been a big believer in collecting you know, solid case studies and proof and testimonials that you can deliver on the promises, then you actually find the sale becomes a lot easier because you can be talking with someone and say, oh, well, have a listen to what I did with, you know, X, Y, and Z. And I mean, you saw that in the um, authority content book. We try and have some testimonials at the end or case studies. And um, now we're trying to get, you know, video ones. And just, you want to build so much proof that when someone actually comes into contact with you, it's it's just undeniable that you can deliver on the, the promises that you're you're making, and that's the real key. Because 
someone wants to have the confidence to know, well, I don't actually mind spending a little bit more with you as long as I know you're going to deliver because most people, they'll make these big promises and then fail to deliver, especially in the SEO space. Yes, absolutely. Um, so, so that's a great point. So in terms of today, I mean, you were doing that back then, you're still doing that now. So when you uh, build out these case studies, I like the idea of you know going and offering it even at cost, especially for some of the new people that will be watching this, great strategy for them to implement. How would you use that case study or recommend they use that case study in terms of positioning their brand? Um, is it something yeah. that you, you put in like on a landing page that you're sending them to or any, any advice in that area? Yeah, so try and use it in lots of different places, building out a page on the website that would collect all of these, putting it into an autoresponder series. So you'd have some sort of, kind of like the way that you do with your um, SEO uh, cheat sheets where people come there and that's a good reason for them to opt in. But once they opt in, behind that, you, you want a, a series of emails that helps to educate them about you and help people find out more about the people that you've helped. So that's the type of thing that works incredibly well in an autoresponder series. And then also uh, in the sales process as well. So once you start talking to someone uh, and, and you say, well, hey, here's what I'd like to do with you. Um, and then just say, hey, it might be useful for you to check out this video here because I worked with blah, 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 and they are in a similar situation or you know they're in a slightly different situation, but some of the elements are the same. So using that and also combining that with um, uh, like uh, I, I like doing speaking uh, gigs where I can, you know, whether that's a, a little event, someone else's event, my event, recording that and then using that in that autoresponder sequence as well. So you kind of outline your methodology in one of those um, videos and then you follow up with, hey, and here's where we actually applied that methodology and got the result. Nice, nice. So today, I mean, you, you, you published this book. I am, I'm assuming it's doing well. I, like I said, I'm a big fan. Uh, so how are you splitting your time today? Are you having to do a lot in terms of promotion for the book or are you fairly focused on growing Melbourne SEO services? Um, at the moment now, I've built up Melbourne SEO services as a systems run business. So every aspect of the business from uh, invoicing people through to onboarding clients to the delivery of service uh, and we've got a small team now we've got a team of about 13 uh, and they kind of help with a lot of the delivery and I've got someone who's worked with me for, for many years um, and she's my sort of chief operations officer so she's running the day-to-day -day. so uh, I don't really get too involved in, in the day-to-day -day. Um, I'll kind of uh, because my, my base is on the front of a lot of the marketing, I'll oftentimes have a lot of those early initial discussions, but then beyond that, it kind of gets handed back to the team. So I think probably a, a little bit of sales and uh, it, I, it's, it was a bit of an experiment late last year. I took about uh, eight weeks off to work on another big project just to see what, <laughs> what would happen. Um, and it didn't massively grow, but it kind of moved sideways. Things got delivered to the clients, issues were handled. So for me, that's kind of given me a little bit of confidence now to kind of work on another project that I'm looking at at, at the moment. So, um, and, and that's really what authority content was about. Uh, it was about documenting the actual uh, core process that will last for a really long time. It's something that we can sell on uh, for, for many years to come. So that was, it was almost like a forced positive constraint to make sure that I, I got it out. Cause sometimes it's, you know, you just don't find the time when it comes to writing systems and processes. There always feels like there's 60 other more important things you should be doing. Yeah, absolutely. So today in terms of the business, I know you've taken a step back. So what are some of the things that are working for, for the SEO business in terms of finding new clients today? Yep. Yeah, so uh, new clients, there's a couple of things. Um, uh, probably the, the thing that's working really well for us is a quiz that we've uh, generated. Uh, I'm quite liking, um, we've got, it's probably about a 20 question quiz. We call it a, a quote calculator, uh, lives on the website and um, it doesn't 
automatically process uh, or tell you exactly how much your SEO is going to be once you go through. But it, it gives us some really great intelligence. So by the time we have a, a discussion with someone, we kind of know quite a lot about their business and can do some research and talk with them beforehand. So that's working quite well. Um, we've always had a, a, a good, strong um, position organically for a lot of our geo terms, partly because there's a real exact match domain there and we've, we've worked on that space. So there's a good flow of, of traffic through there. They get into the quiz, they go through the quiz, they get popped onto the autoresponder sequence with some of that info we talk about and then they're also followed up as well. So a little bit of that, that funnel going on. We do. Um, we don't really do much pay-per-click. The only pay-per-click that we do is bidding on our main brand terms now. So that way if someone's looking for us because it's a pretty noisy marketplace, we'll bid on those phrases. Um, and uh, YouTube actually does quite well for us. There's a, a couple of videos that we've got. We've got a whole bunch of videos. Some, you know, get, get a small number of views. Some get a medium number of views. And occasionally you'll just get you know, this one that really smacks it out of the park. Yeah. Um, and the ones that smack it out of the park, you just make sure there's some, you know, good call to actions in there, getting them back to your website. So we find we actually get quite a bit of uh, traffic from people coming from YouTube, but then opting in, because we've got a couple of opt-ins on the website to get, um, you know, a 20 point authority checklist and a few things like that. And that really encourages people over. Um, and then when they're into that auto responder sequence, we're encouraging them to go fill out that quiz. So it's kind of like we've got a few um, points where people can become aware of us and we get them back to the website, get them to opt in for something, either straight for the quiz or some sort of guide or report or whatever. And um, we've got an auto responder series that works off the back end of that, which helps to build up that trust. And that autoresponder series pushes to the quiz. You take the quiz and then someone ends up chatting with them. So yeah, it's, it's, it's reasonably well uh, automated now. Now it's just a matter of, you know, tipping people in right up the front, you know, a little bit of speaking as well. That, that's some of my best clients have come from speaking. So it's definitely a strategy that's outside of most people's comfort zone, but if they can push themselves through it, it's definitely worth doing. Fantastic. So if you could look back now and uh, share with our audience, kind of envision yourself, let's say 10 years ago when you were starting your SEO business, a lot of people are just starting that journey today. Hope to end up where you are, I'm sure is, uh, is gonna be a common theme. Um, what's, let's say two or three pieces of advice you would give to the younger version of yourself if you were just starting yeah. out on this journey? And um, the, one of the early ones is uh, reprioritize the importance of making processes and procedures and oftentimes when you're smaller and it's just you um, you it's so easy not to give it time even if you just give it a little bit of time there needs to be some point in the business uh, during a week where you're very clearly working on the business not in the business um, and the sooner you start that the better and if you start with the premise of hey I'm building this so that someone else can build it on my behalf the sooner you get that in in your head and start you know the sooner that you'll be able to build something that does work without you otherwise it just becomes a job um, SEO can be very time consuming because there's so many bits and pieces that can be done uh, it's, it's easy to get overwhelmed and head down different rabbit holes and um, feel like you're making progress but you're not really making that much progress because um, you're you're kind of just following these little trends and things that change very quickly. So that's that's the other thing. The other thing I would say, is, um, and this has always been with me, but focusing on um, what you're looking to do as far as something that's got like long-term benefit for the business. So avoid any real shortcuts of, hey, I'm just trying to game the system here. I'm trying to reverse engineer the algorithm. Um, to get this exact sweet spot that'll get me a ranking because you do that and you so closely match your system to the algorithm then the algorithm changes and then everything breaks so, so you're much better off um, building something that's more fundamentally sound 
you know, and like I said, sometimes you'll have things that win, sometimes you'll have things that don't, some, and then it's a matter of doubling down on the bits that are working. You've, you've just got to watch. After you start putting all of this stuff out there, you keep an eye on what's working and then you go, oh, okay, rather than focusing on my weaknesses, I'll figure out where I'm strong and then I'll just do a whole bunch more of that. Um, but as far as like suggestions for, for me, if I was just starting out, um, don't get into SEO. <laughs> I, I, I do. It, I love it. It's a, it's a fast moving industry. Lots of changes. Uh, you have to have uh, quite thick skin and it has to be uh, in the culture to innovate and evolve because the, the game does change and you, your strategies, methods and results will very quickly get dated unless you can. So it's, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Fantastic. Um, so where can people find you online? You've given a ton of uh, good advice, but um, what's, uh, what's some of the best places that we can send them? Yeah, if you just head to authoritycontent.com, that connects to most things. So um, lots of free videos on YouTube. If you've got questions, you can ask me on Twitter um, and all of those links are down in the footer there. Or if you want to actually see like I try and be the best example of everything that we talk about and teach, you can head to melbourneseoservices.com uh, and you can see a lot of it in play. That's, I mean, if you want to experience the quiz or if you want to, you know, feel, see what the autoresponder looks like, um, more than happy to do that and just answer any questions people have got. Perfect. Really appreciate you taking the time and sharing it. Uh, again, thanks for writing the book. I got a ton out of it. It's certainly things that I'm going to be incorporating into my business. Um, thanks for joining us here. I hope everybody got something from this. If you did, definitely hit the uh, like button. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I'll be linking to David's uh, link, so it will be below the video. Thanks a lot for joining us. I'll see you in the next video.